Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I am here at Methuselah Bar and Lounge on North Street with Yuki Cohen, the owner. Um, Yuki, thank you for taking the time to do this today. Thanks for coming. And uh, for those who are not familiar with Methuselah's, can you tell them where you are and what you offer? Sure. We are at 391 North Street on the corner of North Street and Bradford, right across the street from St. Joe's Church. And, uh, and what we offer, we when I opened the bar, I wanted to offer something that's really delicious, that, that that's not offered anywhere in Pittsfield. So we specialize in craft cocktails. That means like really high quality ingredient cocktails and craft beers, um, what we call biodynamic or almost like organic sustainable wines and tapas, tapas, which is more like international. We have a little taco, we have Korean, we have salads and sandwiches. So that's pretty much our offering. But also, we also offer a really great experience. <laughs> yes, when I came in the other night, uh, you had live entertainment, which was awesome. Yes, that was the first one this year, yeah. And you do, uh, the decor and everything is a very unique look. I uh, thank you. I love it. Thank you. So, um, I don't know if you've seen any of the videos that I've been doing, uh, but I've dragged Mark along with me. Yes. And Mark's been uh, basically doing a full review, more of the specifics of drinks, what you mm -hmm. offer, food and all that. But I just wanted to jump in first to introduce you and to thank you personally for doing this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand you over to Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so Good morning, much. Morning, Yuki. Good morning, Mark. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks for coming. Like I said, any help that you can put the word out there that helps us. So we're very grateful, very grateful for that. Well, it's an it's a beautiful morning here, yes. and the sun is shining in. Yeah. The place is brightly lit mm -hmm. at night it's brightly lit as well it's it's one of those places where you 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 can see everybody and it's a it's an excellent experience yes thank you so i just want to ask start off asking a little bit about the menu yeah okay you have a lot of great specialty cocktails right mm -hmm. what is your most popular specialty cocktail so the most currently the most popular one is the empress garden really because it comes in a really pretty glass and i think people like to feel royal so, and it's got a nice purple color, so mm -hmm. that's been one of the more popular ones. But, uh, but a lot of people, they come in for some of the classics, like the Manhattans mm -hmm. that they're drinking, or the Negronis, that's something that's like a throwback to like, thir like the 30s or the 40s. Yeah, so yeah. I like that. And what are your hours of operation? So we've been open from 5 p.m. till midnight. Our last call is at midnight, and the kitchen's open till 10 p.m. Till 10, okay. And uh, as far as the menu goes, you have flatbreads, salads. I love your cheese and charcuterie platter. Yes. It's excellent. Yeah, it's delicious. Um, so the Empress Garden, that's one of your most favorite. Is that more of a ladies' drink, or do gentlemen buy I, that as well? You're absolutely right. It's like 80% uh, women and 20% men that will ask for the okay. Empress Garden. And so the men do, you have a wide array of draft beers, mm -hmm. and uh, do the men typically get the beer? Yes, most men, I would say 75% of the time, they'll ask for a beer, but then if they're looking for a nice cocktail, they, I mean, they, will, they will come in and ask for a cocktail as well. And the average price of a cocktail looks pretty reasonable for the amount of work that goes into it. Yes. <laughs> so I'm trying to make just enough money to cover my expenses. I'm not trying to yeah, overcharge people. So we try to make the prices as fair as yeah, possible. So it's a very reasonably paid place, priced bar. Yes. And if you came in here, you would think, oh, it's going to be overpriced and everything. But actually, it's very, very affordable. Yeah. And people should really come in and try every yeah, single that, one of these That's an cocktails. interesting point, because now that, now that I've been open for about six and a half years, when I first opened, I think I was more, I mean, I think I still had, like, the city, I'm from New York City, so I still had that in mind, and I want to create some of that here. But now that I look at it, I could see why, knowing a lot of the people that I do, the locals and, and the kids and everything, I could see how coming in can be a little bit, looks pretentious. Yes. So we hope to overcome that by providing very friendly service, I hope. Yes, people should just stop in and see yes. it. Yes. As far as demographics go, mm -hmm. what are the wide ranges of ages that come in here? So we've been very lucky that uh, we have the sweet spot of, of a dinner crowd, and, uh, and I mentioned to you earlier that now that theater is open, Barrington Stage mm -hmm. has been a, a, like a great um, benefit to our business. Mm -hmm. so, so we get the theater crowd, um, pre-theater during the summer, 
and then they come after the theater, so that's a little bit more older, more sophisticated crowd that comes in, and that goes to the theater. And then later at night, the younger kids will come in. So we got a demographic of so people that go to the theater, that's 40 plus, and then the kids that come in, and those are usually 22, 23, the average age would be 25. Mm -hmm. um, and I will say the older I get, the, the, as I, there's a fresh crop of 21 year olds that come in and they look so much younger yeah. every year it yeah. seems like but, but I, I am very grateful that we get to hone in um, harness both, both age groups right. and demographics and you told Mike you, you had live entertainment here the other night That's how it. often do you have it this is the first time since the pandemic yeah, so but. the pandemic I think um, last year was really devastating for us it was mm -hmm. just hard on so many levels financially emotionally Everything was hard and difficult, but um, so like and organizing, making an extra decision on bringing a band in was hard. Mm -hmm. But then Chantal, she is the most magnificently talented singer. Oh no, yeah, she's super talented, yeah. and she comes in here all the time. So every time I see her, I'm like, Hey, do you want to play? And then it finally worked out that the, right. it happened the day that the yeah, guys that came in, in, and you just happened to stop in, and she was playing. So, and I'm actually working with her to try to drum up um, more music. Okay. So we're gonna work on either a Tuesday or Wednesday night regularly um, to come in to have the local artists come and have another venue to oh, perform. Nice. So should, would it be uh, announced on your Facebook page? Yeah, so okay. we put everything on Facebook okay. and Instagram. Okay, so they should check out, follow your Facebook page. And my you know, Instagram exactly. page, yes, thank yeah, you, yes. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, so if I come in here and I don't have any cash, it's okay, you, you we play with cards. We take credit car. cards, yeah, okay. we take credit cards, and I think one point we even took Bitcoin. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. That, that was a big, that was big the, check. That was, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that that one Bitcoin from, I think, three years ago at the time, I think it was like $3,000. Wow. So now it's worth like oh, 50 yeah. grand. Yeah. So that was quite the, the benefit at the time. Oh, that's great. But, that's I, awesome. but I think that's hard to do because um, it's, I think now with Venmo and PayPal kind of going into Bitcoin, mm -hmm. I think eventually we'll be it's able to make more... payment a lot easier. Yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah. So um, if I had Venmo, would I able to just say, okay, send it off and pay the bill you that can, way? You can Venmo the money, yeah. Wow. I'm a little older. I don't get into that that yeah, much. I know. <laughs> I know the younger people do like to have that because but they I like to do it. But I think it's coming. I think oh, more and more companies Definitely. are going into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. So I feel like in the next, I'd say in the next five, within the next five mm -hmm. years, I could see people making payments with cryptocurrencies. Yeah. But at the relative, it's very high at the moment, though. So when I come into this bar, I'm immediately walk into the, the front door, and I see this beautiful bar here, and always. Some very smiling yes. waitress, bartender, mm -hmm. is there greeting everybody, and everybody's so friendly as you come in. And it's not a very large place. Right, it isn't. And how, what's the capacity here? Capacity is 49, including staff. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And uh, do you ever take any advantage of outdoor seating? So, you know, we, we could have, I just um, didn't get to filling out the paperwork, okay. but, but, the, but the city has been amazing in, in uh, fast-tracking the outdoor seating. Okay. We so. just didn't take advantage of that because I think also shortage of staff, mm -hmm. so to go outside is another area that we'd have to concentrate exactly. on. Exactly. So we just decided to keep it contained. Okay. Thank you. It's been a great experience oh, being here and talking so to you Thanks and learning so about everything here. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. So grateful for the for the opportunity and for getting the word out even more. Yes, yeah. and we're going to be back because yeah. we <laughs> will be giving. Well, we'll be back as patrons, mm -hmm. but we're also going to be giving awards. Oh, awards. that's going to oh, be at the end of our tour. We're going to be giving awards. awards. awards for? I can't tell you yet. Oh, I can't. Wait. But it's going to be the Excellence Award. I that's love our that. award. But we'll. we'll I, I can't we won, promise you anything yet. We award in my display, it, so I'll be very proud to display whatever award you feel like we Perfect. deserve. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. So fun. Thank you. Thank you so much.